There's a story behind every smile, and everybody wants to have a smile that they feel good about, no matter their age, their gender, their profession, or their circumstance. This morning we're going to talk about the consequences of missing teeth and why you should replace them if you happen to be in that circumstance. Dr. Sandy, thank you for being here with me today. Thank you mm -hmm. for having me, Jenna. It's great having you back on the show. It's been a while since you've been on, and let's just focus this morning on why we need to replace missing teeth if we have them. Well, actually, the front teeth are kind of obvious, um, at least to most other people. Mm -hmm. um, for me as a dentist, what the function of those front teeth are is we use them to cut things, mm -hmm but we can use a knife to cut things. Right. <laughs> we use them for speech, but we can still be understood if we don't have front teeth. Mm -hmm. The big thing with missing front teeth is that we don't have a smile, so it looks, we seem like we're ugly, uh, it seems like we don't have education, we don't have money, so that can kind of be more like a, um, a status thing. So it makes mm -hmm. it kind of hard to find a mate. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that's, a lot of people kind of, I mean, that's a big deal, mm -hmm. have not having a mate. So um, front teeth are important for that reason. Mm -hmm. But in general, the back teeth are actually more important than the front teeth. The back teeth actually protect the front teeth. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, if you don't have enough back teeth, you can destroy your front teeth. Really? If um, you don't replace teeth, then um, you also, it, it causes facial um, differences. You'll have wrinkles and stuff. A funny thing happened to me when I was taking one of my Botox and filler courses. I had um, a patient who was, you know, I was evaluating for doing it and to practice on. And so she's sitting in front of me and just sitting there. And so I looked at her and I go, you're missing teeth on the upper left. <laughs> she said, how did you know that? I said, because you've got a deeper wrinkle on the upper left and you're not wearing your partial or whatever replaces them. So she was quite, I guess, motivated at that uh -huh. point because here fixed. she is thinking about spending a lot of money on Botox mm -hmm. and fillers when all she really needed to do was wear her teeth. Isn't at that least crazy? For that side, yeah. And um, the other thing with uh, back teeth, especially um, another misconception, people think that the baby teeth aren't that important that uh, they're going to be gone anyway, so mm -hmm. it's okay if they uh, get infected and they have to be pulled sooner than they're supposed to come out, but that is a fallacy. Mm -hmm. The baby teeth are actually protecting that space, saving it for the permanent teeth that are coming in. So if you lose a baby tooth before it's time to come out, then you'll end up having a lot more expensive problems down the line with alignment and therefore chewing. You'll have impacted teeth. It, it's a real mess and it's mm -hmm. expensive. Don't so it's a there. lot better mm -hmm. to keep your baby teeth until they are ready to come out. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of the ways then that we can go about replacing the teeth. Um, one of the ways, well actually there's a picture right up right now uh, no, the other one. <laughs> we'll come back to, there's an x-ray up in the back, and I just wanted to say one more thing about missing teeth. A lot of times, if you lose a tooth, you're going to lose another tooth, mm -hmm. because um, it's in our DNA, you know, the teeth are looking for their neighbor, so they're going to mm -hmm. lean over looking for the neighbor until mm -hmm. they find it, or they're going to go up and down looking for a neighbor until they find it. If they don't find that neighbor, then they'll come down, I guess you can't see it on that picture behind us, but the, the tooth will keep coming down or up until it's a problem and you've got to extract it. So a lot mm -hmm. of times if you don't replace a back tooth in particular, mm -hmm. you're going to end up losing at least one other one, if not two other ones. Just from not replacing them. Just from not replacing them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, a, it's a tough road to go down. Mm -hmm. Very important to do it. So one of the things, one of the ways to answer your question about how to replace them um, over the decades, we've got a really almost miraculous way of replacing teeth. It's almost like having a third set, mm -hmm. and that's with implants. Mm -hmm. um, and people think, oh, that's surgery, and it's a big deal, and it's real expensive. But it actually just uh, takes about 20 minutes. It's mm -hmm. not that big of a deal. You're a little sore, no more sore than you would be if you got an extraction. Mm -hmm. And uh, people think that the cost between three and $5,000 
is a lot, but when you look at how much replacing teeth any other way um, costs, especially over your lifetime, you end up spending two or three times on replacing that one tooth than you would if you just got an implant in the first mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. So an implant lasts anywhere from five years to a lifetime, de mm -hmm. depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. um, the other way of replacing teeth, let's see if we've got a picture back there yet, is um, that's a bridge. Mm -hmm. And the way that is, works is it's like two caps. You have to prep the two really fine teeth on either side mm -hmm. and then we put the fake tooth connected to those two crowns or caps and we cement it in permanently. Mm -hmm. Now this I'm going to say again when we talk about another way of replacing so just kind of I hope everybody remembers you're missing a tooth it had a job mm -hmm. and it has a certain amount of work that it has to do. Mm -hmm. You take it out now you got buddies that are doing their work plus the missing tooth's work mm -hmm. and that's what, what it's about with a bridge or with any removable. Uh, partials. So a bridge lasts ab about an average of five years. Sometimes they can last 10. Very rarely have I seen them past 20. And um, they cost anywhere from three to five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And you have to talk, talk to, you have to, um, you have to kind of, you have to mess with other teeth. Mm -hmm. So the uh, last way of uh, doing it is with uh, a removable partial mm -hmm. and a lot of people are not candidates for those because they can't stand to wear them mm -hmm. so they want to push them out and they get food under them and you have to take them out at night and um, those are probably the least best way and those cost anywhere from eight to a thousand and you mm -hmm. have to rebase them and down the line you're going to be spending the same amount of money mm -hmm. So that's good. It all, of, it all adds up then, right? It Might as well just get up. it done. Just get at, it done right then. Get it done at the beginning. And of course, if anybody has any more questions about that, they can contact you by calling the number on the bottom of the screen. And I know you have something big coming up too. Yes, we have uh, a meet and greet with Dr. Mm -hmm. Hazen, who is our doc who does implants. So if anybody has any questions about implants or they have a missing tooth and they just kind of want to know their situation, it's no charge, come on in and talk to us about it. He's going to have models and stuff. It's on Tuesday. October the 16th from 3 to 6. 3 to 6, and just stop by 802 Truman. That's where you're located. Thank you so much for coming back on the show this morning and sharing this. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be right back after this. Please stay with me.